Hello, my name is Anton and I will be your guide to Kadana, the new code quality platform by JetBrains. In this video, I will give a brief overview of the features provided by Kadana. First, let me explain the idea. When you work in the code editor, the IDE inspects your code and highlights any issues it detects on the fly. Syntax errors, code style issues, unused code, any possible bugs the IDE can find with the static code checks. The issues are highlighted differently depending on the predefined severity levels. In JetBrains IDEs, you're probably used to hitting Alt-Enter to fix the issues quickly as you work. This is all possible thanks to the static analysis engines built into the IDE. You can run a single inspection of your choice or even a set of inspections in batch mode to monitor your project's health. And you can configure the inspection profiles in the IDE settings. Either include, exclude or tune the parameters of the specific inspections. But this alone is not enough when working in a team. In a team, we must ensure that everybody follows the same code style, formatting and inspection rules. This removes a whole layer of small issues and improves productivity. And this process is better be automated because this is not something you want to spend much time on. This is where the inspections meet continuous integration. We can run the checks as part of the CI process and Kadana will help us with the essential components. Kadana consists of two main parts. First, the headless IntelliJ ID engine is packaged in a Docker container and tailored for use in CI pipelines. And the second part is a web-based UI that can be deployed on your infrastructure or you can use it via Kadana Cloud offering. So if we configure the inspection step as part of the CI workflow, we can get a report with the overview of the project state. We can then drill down into the specific categories or the individual checks. Let me show you an example of a report I generated for a Java project. You can see the dashboard with a chart visualizing the categories and severity of the issues. As I navigate through the chart, the results filter updates on the fly so I can quickly get to the most critical problems. I can adjust the selection from the controls on the right and save the presets for something worth looking into in the future. Let's see a specific issue I might be interested in. Uh, here is something that I think needs my attention. I can click on the open file in the IDE button. If there is a project clone on your machine and you have opened it at least once, Kadana will take you to the problematic spot. For this, you need to have Kadana IDE plugin installed and the plugin provides a link between the Kadana report and your project in the IDE. We are just alt enter away from fixing the problem. So let's do just that and return to Kadana. Besides filtering and browsing the issues in the report, there is often a need to adjust the configuration for the analysis quickly. There is a list of actions for any problems listed in the report. You can exclude a file from the inspection and disable a single check or the entire category if you wish. The actions we make in the interface generate a new configuration that we can see in the checks tab in the profile configuration. In Kadana, a set of checks and files that the checks are applied to are called a profile. You can see the inspections included in the profile used to generate the report and adjust the configuration as needed. As you can see, the changes I made by selecting or deselecting the individual inspections are reflected in the kadana.yaml configuration file. So if I want to apply this new configuration, I need to update this file in my project. I can just download this new configuration from the report and save the file in the project's root folder. If I commit and push this configuration file to the repository, it will apply on the next CI run and I will get the new report. In this project, I have configured a workflow for GitHub Actions that runs the inspection step when there is a new commit. It is possible to integrate Kadana linters with the CI server of your choice and for convenience, we also provide plugins for a few popular CI servers, including TeamCity, GitLab, CircleCI, and some others. The reports generated in the CI pipeline can be uploaded to the Kadana Cloud service for a convenient analysis. Since you get to see the historical results, it is possible to compare the different reports and track the quality trends in the project. You can also build so-called quality gates. For instance, you can stop the CI pipeline if the project doesn't correspond to your quality metrics. 
We have pre-configured the matrix of license compatibilities. Since I enabled the license check inspection in my configuration, I also got a report with all the incompatibilities across the libraries used in this project. So finally, Kadana is the tool that will help you to keep an eye on the quality of the project. In the next videos, I will show you how to set up the static analysis with Kadana for your project in the different continuous integration servers, link them to Kadana Cloud and how to use the IDE plugin. That is all for now. Thank you for watching and keep your code healthy.